Hi, I'm Honor Haichu and I'm a nurse practitioner. I practice in an asthma and allergy clinic in Chattanooga, Tennessee called Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. And I'm at the CARPS meeting in San Diego, California to present on the challenge of the chronic cough. We all have those patients who say they've been coughing forever and no one can figure it out. And um, one of the things I found in my research is that um, many patients feel like we as providers don't address the cough enough. Certainly it's not the most important thing in the uh, overall picture, but the challenge of the chronic cough and guidelines that have been done recently have really helped us narrow it down. And really the take home point number one is history trumps all take a really good history. Ask the right questions and usually the patient will tell you why they're coughing or give you a clue to the etiology of the cough. So you have to ask all the questions. What triggers the cough? What makes it better? When does it happen? Is it with exertion, at rest, at night, during the day, worse in the morning, worse in the evening? When you lay down in different positions, just history, history, history. What have you tried? What medicines do you take? Again, history, history, history. The other thing is that cough is multifaceted. It is a symptom and it can be caused from so many different causes and several causes can be really contributing. So you need to, um, again, know that it's not one thing that's causing it. Oftentimes it's multiple things and approach it from that direction with the patient and let them know that it's not gonna be a one visit fixes this kind of thing. You need to work together, you need to engage the patient in the process um, and get their feedback and really show that you really genuinely care and you will figure it out. Chronic cough is now under the umbrella of cough hypersensitivity syndrome and that is a new term that is kind of an umbrella term for neurogenic cough or chronic refractory cough or idiopathic cough or vocal cord dysfunction or any of those cough type things that are frustrating because it's very difficult to get a hold of. Certainly doing a chest x-ray, number one, is very important. Maybe doing pulmonary function testing if it's available. And um, you can only get to cough hypersensitivity syndrome after you have excluded all the other common diagnoses. But there are some new guidelines for how to approach that cough hypersensitivity syndrome.